Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video, I will show you a solution that CULB or CULBS, you can automatically country many controller. Uh, before we have used this CUL, we have used this IS232 uh, two, cable with this IS232 cable for relay controller. But in this time, you can use this IS485 interface. Uh, you can see I can connect with this. Uh, IS485, IS485, and IS485 all this in one bus line, uh, one IS485 bus line so that you can use this uh, CUL logic controller country many 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 controller uh, like the Luli controller and uh, the dimmer so it it is part of max uh, the 254 uh, picks of the controller now you can see I can use only one I can country this output this output and this output, these are uh, sensor input. I have connected with the door sensor. You can see I can triangle for country every country output. Triangle the input of the door sensor. And you will see as the relay is on, on, and the dimmer is country the lamp is on. So it sent command uh, to this first one and the second one, and the third one. And we, it, it can also automatically turn off. This third is off, the second is off, and the one is off. So I will tell you how to define this customer command sent to this controller. Let's look at the computer. OK, this is our CUL software. Uh, you can use any CUL, CULB, or CULBS. Uh, we can log in by the IP and the port. We can click Connect. And now we can go to the customer size. And this is the window we can define the customer size command. So at first we can test with H32BS, let it output country your lap on and off. So we can see this is our first IS485, the address is 0, 1. Uh, so we call, call it is 1. And we can see uh, this is the command, uh, this command how to generate, you can see our the document of the H32BS IS485 mode bus protocol. This is our mode bus protocol of H32BS. So you can do anything, read the input and the country the output on and off. So this video take an example for uh, turn on the light one and turn off the light one. So we can see this is a code. We just can copy and paste to test the command. So we can copy this command and uh, to the CLS PC software window and the checkbox and uh, click the hex because we use the hex format. Uh, you can see this is our first uh, controller. This is IS485 address is 1. And this is relay 1 output. Uh, this is MOSFET output uh, channel 1. Uh, we can see this LD. We will turn on and turn off. Now let's send the command by the PC software. And you can see the LED is on. So this is a test uh, for the command sent by the PC software. We can also send a turn off command. You can see this LED. And this LED is off. So this is how to send the command to the address one controller, the first one controller. Now we can change to the second controller. Uh, this is the second controller of H32PS. This address is 2. And we can also turn on and turn off the channel 1 MOSFET output. Now we can test it. We can send the turn on 1 channel on. Now you can see this is on. And we can also send a command for off. And we just can copy and paste the command and send. Uh, you can see this is off. And now we can test uh, for the D8, the dimmer controller. OK, this is our the third controller. This is dimmer. Uh, we can use this channel 1 output. And the address is 3. OK, now we can turn on the lamp, or we can change any percent of the brightness of this lamp. We can send the command by S485 to this address. And you can see the light is on and according to our brightness percent. And we can send another command to change the brightness by this IS485. OK, now this is 
turn off and you can uh, send uh, by zero to 99% of the brightness by this IS45 by the CLB controller. Okay, let's look at how to make this FTT command on the PC software of the CLBS. Okay, now we're ready to make the FTT command. So the first time we need to use the define command, we just copy and paste this command. And the first command, because we have used the hex mode, so we can check the hex. And this is white uh, to the current, the number one of the user define command. And now we can create the number two. This number one and the number two is the customer define command, not FDDD command. And we can paste and the number two and then write to the number two customer command. And uh, the third one, and just uh, create, save, create, save, create, save. Uh, you can save this diff customer define. And this is number four. And now this is for the demo. The demo we have used the NC stream. So not click the hex. That is for uh, NC, uh, NC code. So just create the number five. Uh, this is a stream. And uh, the six, command six. Uh, this is turn to zero, just off. This six and the uh, white. Okay, now we have create and all the customer define command to the CL. Now we begin to create the FTTT command. And the first we can edit number one command. If the digital input one, just uh, my door sensor is triggered and hold down for the one second. And also you can change to 0 0.1, uh, it will be very quickly fast. And click then command, we can edit the just the Zen command is send a command to IS485 and uh, ch choose uh, which number you have saved. Uh, number one, add to Zen. And then we can add to the next command, uh, number two, uh, number three. Number three is turn on the second HPS. And the number five is turn on the dimmer, the brightness uh, chain change the brightness and add. Now we can turn on relay one of the second controller and turn on relay one of the third controller. Sec uh, uh, first controller and the third is the dimmer. And now we can turn off all these controller. Just uh, ch change number two and the four off. And the four is also four off. And the six is also four off the dimmer. And all these command create and just Click apply. And now the function is made by yourself. And we can test again. So now you can use the door sensor to for triangle uh, like this. Door sensor, just input one, triangled. And you can see uh, this is the number one, and this is number one, and the dimmer. So all these controller have automatic controller by this CL logic controller. Auto off and auto on. Uh, this is how to use. Thanks for watching.